Let's talk about what we saw today. Our 46th president has taken office and Vice President Kamala Harris became the first woman, African American and Asian American to take this elected national office. Let's go to the Capitol where it all happened today on that Western Front, where just two weeks ago we saw an attack on our democracy. Our Delia Gonsalves witnessed it all today and Delia, you sort of had a front row seat to what was happening. It was incredible. We arrived here at 4.30 this morning and there was a light snow falling down, cascading over the dome of the Capitol. And that really, lots of folks said, symbolized a cleansing of sorts. Uh, it was a heavy couple of weeks leading into the inauguration. A lot of folks said that this was the uh, mental palate cleanser that we needed after seeing those horrific images of the insurrection. And even though the swearing in ceremony was scaled down, it did not disappoint in capturing the historic moment or its message of unity. With liberty and justice for all. The pomp and pageantry was still there despite the COVID pandemic and a riotous insurrection at the U.S. Capitol two weeks ago. No crowds on the mall, just a few lawmakers, dignitaries and Supreme Court justices, along with family and a small number of invited socially distanced attendees. I Kamala Davy Harris solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. Office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. In his inaugural address, the 46th President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden, spoke of repairing the breach of our democracy. Unity, unity. With unity, we can do great things, important things. We can right wrongs. We can put people to work in good jobs. We can teach our children in safe schools. We can overcome the deadly virus. We can reward, reward work and rebuild the middle class and make health care secure for all. We can deliver racial justice and we can make America once again the leading force for good in the world. At this time, in this place, let's start afresh, all of us. Let's begin to listen to one another again, hear one another, see one another, show respect to one another. Politics doesn't have to be a raging fire, destroying everything in its path. Every disagreement doesn't have to be a cause for total war. His message, America is better than that. Here we stand, looking out on the great mall where Dr. King spoke of his dream. Here we stand, where 108 years ago, at another inaugural, thousands of protesters tried to block brave women marching for the right to vote. And today, we mark the swearing in of the first woman in American history elected to national office, Vice President Kamala Harris. Don't tell me things can't change. President Biden spoke of healing and uniting a nation that has endured tough tests in recent times, but a nation that can heal when it works for truth, justice, and for the good of every one of its citizens. With purpose and resolve, we turn to those tasks of our time, sustained by faith, driven by conviction, and devoted to one another and the country we love with all our hearts. May God bless America and may God protect our troops. Thank you, America. Amazing grace. 
Certainly so many memorable moments during today's ceremony, but certainly when Garth Brooks had the audience and those of you watching at home sing along to Amazing Grace, that was a very powerful and moving moment for so many here in the crowd and in attendance. Later tonight, President Biden and Vice President Harris will attend a star-studded televised show and you can watch that right here on WUSA 9. For now, we're live at the Capitol. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9. We are just halfway through an incredible day, and they're still going. All right, Delia, thank you.